What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy T Time Gaming back at it again with another video. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and like this video and also, as well, subscribe to the channel. Now, yesterday, we all know we got the full reveal to the new EA College football game that'll be coming out on July 19th and for early release, so it'll be coming out on July the 16th. We got some snippets of some things, we got a trailer, we've seen a little bit of gameplay, but there's a lot of details. In that trailer that I think we missed, including myself, I missed some things too. And I want to go over some of those things that you guys may have missed as well throughout this whole entire trailer. All right, man. So one thing that I immediately noticed that I did not notice the first time around, and I'll post a screenshot here on the on the screen here for you, was pants above the knee. That was something that the community had been asking for for months and years now really since the Madden modern community has started making like pants above the knee and giving their their players like more swag and stuff like that really for like the last year i feel like really is when it got really adamant about we want pants above the knee we want more swag on the field in the new ea college football game well listen man ea delivered they have pants above the knee. They have the regular pants as well, but they do have pants above the knee as well. So that's something that I did not notice the first time. You can see it right here with the screenshot, like I said, with the LSU wide receiver. The pants are above the knee. That's something that I did not notice at first when watching, and I went back and watched several times, and then I noticed, okay, this guy does have pants above the knee. And like I said, a lot of you know, college football players play that way now. They pretty much play with almost like shorts at this point. So I definitely seen that. And that was one thing I did not see the first time. Next up, another thing that was an accessory that I did not see originally was guess what, guys? Back pads are showing. That was one of the things that I put on my wish list. I'll put the video down here in the description so you guys can go back and look at that. That was one of the first things I put in here. And that was something I needed to see. And you can see it right here. I've actually circled these two Baylor guys. You can see it right here on the screenshot. I've circled the two Baylor guys that are showing their back plates. Also, as well, you can see it when they did the whole little Pittsburgh dunk thing. The dude's stomach is out. You can kind of see his back plate a little bit from the from the front. No diddy. Um, but, yeah, man, it was crazy, bro. Like, I was been waiting on that. And EA heard our cries. Like I said, I really want the swag to be on point in this game. And so far, from what I'm seeing, EA has delivered so far. When it comes to like just making your player look super swaggy, I'm not going to lie. From what I've seen, you feel me, they have answered the market. All right, so next up, another thing I noticed is that these teams that are affiliated with Adidas, Nike, Jordan, they are going to have on Nike socks. Jordan socks and you can see it right here in this Oscar Delp with Georgia the Georgia tight end you can see it here on the screenshot here he has on Nike socks that is something that has never been in really I don't think any um football game so that's how detailed these guys are at EA man they were really detailed oh this is just a small detail but still though uh, I thought that was really dope and I thought it was really nice to see to be honest with you all right so on this next one I'm actually gonna have to give a little credit to Tubby Light because I didn't even see this until I watched his stream last night. So shout out to Tubby Light. Um, and I think his name is Bring NCAA Back on Instagram. He mentioned that Oklahoma players had on tights. And I didn't realize it at first. I went back and watched the trailer. And a couple of teams players had on tights. I went back and watched and ms players had on tights. I got the screenshot right here. I'll post it for you guys. As you can see right there in the front, that guy has on tights. Also, as well, another guy that had on like our leg compression sleeves, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Oklahoma's dude, he has on one right here, as you can see. Um, it's a complete like maroon or red color, like, same color as Oklahoma. He had on tights, and also as well, probably the most obvious one is Donovan Edwards right here. Also had on tights that I did not notice at first. So this was another one that I don't think we've really ever seen. I only think we've seen that on Madden yet. Um, so yeah, the fact they were able to put like leg compression sleeves in there and leg sleeves and stuff like that in there, that just just shows how detailed and how they really did listen to the community and cared about, you know, the accessories because guys really want to see that. Shout out to some, cause I think some of the guys on the dev team is from the Madden Modern community. So that might also be a reason why that's in there too, but shout out to those guys though. Now this next one is a little less confirmed, but in this Travis Hunter screenshot I'm going to put up right now. That looks like that brother got on a shysty. I'm not sure. Again, we can't 100% confirm that. But if you can tell that his neck, either they did a horrible job with his neck and it looks terribly black, or that's a shysty he has on. But it looks like a shysty. I could be wrong, but it looks like a shysty. And again, this is not confirmed, but 
if they did that again, that just gives more credit to EA really listening to the fan base and listening to the community on what they want accessory wise. And I think it looks really good. Now they did a horrible job with this. A lot of people was talking about the shoulder pads. It does not look good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, maybe that's because he was shrugging at that time, so maybe that's why. But they do need to fix that because his shoulder pad shouldn't be that big. But I will say, if that's a shite, the EA. I'm not gonna lie. The accessory wise, they doing anything. All right, man. The last thing here that I noticed too, man, in this screenshot of Army running the wing tee, the team they play against is East Carolina. And that chrome helmet is popping off the screen like crazy. I talked about this several times before. I think ECU has the best uniforms in college football. Yes, better than Oregon, better than North Carolina, better than Ole Miss. Like they, and it shows, and like that purple. If you see the screenshot, it just pops off the screen like crazy. And those chrome helmets are just. It's elite, man. I'm not going to lie. I thought they did a really good job showcasing that, man. And honestly, I thought this running animation looked kind of crazy, too. Like, it just looked real smooth. So, again, another thing I was just really impressed with was just the way that chrome helmet was just popping off like that, which is insane. And that's going to conclude the video of the things that at least I missed. There's probably some more stuff in here, to be completely honest with you. There were so many things going on in this video, man. Once again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. We're trying to do a giveaway. If we get the 1K followers before the game drops, I'm going to give the game away to two supporters um, in the comment section or whatever the case may be. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. We're getting, we're like, we're getting real close to 1,000, man. So definitely go ahead and do that. And until next time, you guys, enjoy it. We're here, boys. We're getting close, and it's almost that time. See you next time.